So for years now, I have been debunking the cringy, clickbait, misinformed, poorly researched, trashy, nonsense articles that pop up all the time from websites trying to profit off of Dragon Ball for the past several years, and I've been reading them even before that. And I've rarely been at a loss for words. This article right here, those of you who have been on my channel, you know I've been debunking Screen Rant a bunch. This article right here by George Fernandez, Jorge Fernandez from TheGamer.com may be the worst, most offensive, most idiotic article that I've ever read in my entire time being a Dragon Ball fan. I'm not even kidding. I have seen a lot of misinformation, but the stuff in this article right now is literally the worst thing I have ever read seen and I'm gonna tell you why as we go through this website deserves to be shut down this George Fernandez guy deserves to be banned from the internet it's never gonna happen though and these things need to cease existing and the fact that this website made even a penny off of this article is honestly a evidence of just how fucked up the world is that we're in right now it's just it's extremely bad so 25 things wrong with Dragon Ball Super we all choose to ignore now We've talked about Dragon Ball Super and criticized it for the past three years. And there's a lot of valid criticism there. There's a lot of people who have their own opinions on Dragon Ball Super. This article right here, which I'm going to get into now, is not only bad and misinformed, but downright stupid. And the fact that this actually got approved to go live means that somebody on this website really doesn't care. And trust me, it's that bad. So as we go through the article here, right he gives a little introduction the first thing he mentions is the animation okay the animation remember the article's called things that dragon ball things wrong with dragon ball super that fans choose to ignore right the animation something that's been heavily criticized and critiqued since episode five you already look stupid jorge the movie adaptations we all know they suck Nobody wanted Battle of Gods and Resurrection F to be readapted. Well, very few of us did. Here we go again. Fine. So far, I, it's not even that bad. I haven't got to the main event yet. Gohan is a joke until the end. Who cares? Honestly, who cares? I, I, that's just great. He's a joke. He really... It's not even a big deal. Fans are not ignoring this. TN is a joke. Again, people really don't care. Goten and Trunks are useless. Now, again, right here, as we read the article, we're seeing things that are very common with these articles. You know, they're digging up stuff. They, The guys who write these things are not a part of the community at all. We don't really know who they are. They don't contribute anything to the fandom. And obviously what they do is they go around reading boards and picking and choosing stuff to, to complain about to critique. Great. Android 17 got stronger fighting poachers. That makes you look pretty freaking stupid but okay let's go for it then we have number 19 roshi was holding back the theory here is that master roshi has actually been a lot stronger than he's revealed to us and that roshi was actually really powerful throughout all of dragon ball z and that he was hiding it the whole time so you mean to tell me that i'm supposed to believe <laughs> that master roshi that master roshi was as strong as vegeta and Nappa and could have helped out the Z fighters and gotten involved, but chose not to and was a coward? Is that really? Do people out there really believe this? And it says here perhaps he was too lazy. Where was he during previous threats to Raditz, Vegeta, Frieza, and Cell? Maybe it was the fact that he said he wasn't strong enough. That could be it. But nah, let's just make a stupid argument. That's fine. That's fine. Jiren is stronger than time. Again, nobody ignores this. It was stated in the series, whatever. I haven't got to the bad stuff yet. The Goku Black arc makes no sense. Yeah, there's a lot of plot holes in the Goku Black arc. I will give them that. That's Fans do ignore this. There are a lot of fans that have ignored just how many problems are in that Trunks arc. Because there's tons of them. Now, I enjoyed it as the series was you know, on the air. I enjoyed watching it. But I feel like you know, most people, when that arc were, was over were either disappointed in the ending or disappointed in the entire arc. There's a few that liked it, which is fine. But as far as it be, as they're, as it being ignored, and also, it's not that nonsensical. 
Goku Black and he destroyed Trunks' world. Again, I don't know how that's a thing wrong with Dragon Ball Super. That's just an event that happened. Fine. Goku and Beerus never got a rematch. Dragon Ball Super, the story of Dragon Ball is not over yet. Yeah, we haven't got a rematch yet. We might never get a rematch. The story went a different direction. Nobody ignores this. We've covered it many times. Beerus ordered the destruction of the Saiyans. No, Beerus suggested, not ordered, suggested. He did not care, and Frieza did it. Because Beerus didn't like Frieza. I don't know how many times this has been misconstrued by fans. I don't know how many times. And again, I haven't even got to the really good stuff yet. To where I really am, am literally like clenching, clutching my fists here. The tingly Super Saiyan feeling. Again, this is another casual babby, another moron who didn't understand or take any time to do the research on the tingly back. A lot of Dragon Ball fans had a problem with the tingly back. I did a video explaining what the tingly back is and where they got the idea from. Right? With Kendamu. Now, some folks didn't like that video. We explained exactly where it came from and why it's actually a thing in Japan. Why the, this tingly back thing is actually part of martial arts. That's fine. You know, you're probably some kid who's never left the house before. Probably had Dorito stains on his freaking fingers. Mustard stains on his freaking oversized shirt or undersized shirt. And he doesn't know anything about doing research for two seconds. That's fine. That's fine. Goku is a jerk. Again, he talks about how Toriyama said he was never a fan of Goku being depicted as a hero and that Goku was much more, you know, much more focused on fighting, which is true. That's all true. But then the example he uses is that he talks about the episode where Krillin and Goku went to the Forest of Illusions and discusses how Krillin was traumatized by the hallucination of, of former enemies and Goku didn't understand why Krillin was scared or something like that. That doesn't make him a jerk, dude. That does not make him a jerk. Goku started the Tournament of Power. Again, more idiocy. Goku did start the Tournament of Power. Zeno was going to destroy the universes anyways. And then we found out at the end that it was done to see if they would make the right decision. Goku, in fact, saved the multiverse. He mentions that right here. And it's true, Goku didn't know about it. But Goku never said anything about... Goku never told Zeno, yeah, destroy the losers. But we're going to blame Goku. That's fine. Here's the one that really got under my skin. Number 10 on the list. Bulma's Japanese voice actress passed. TheGamer.com makes a, an article saying things wrong with Dragon Ball Super that fans choose to ignore. Which to me should be like, you know, bad writing, plot holes, animation mess ups, voice acting problems, whatever you want to criticize about the actual production of the series. And instead, number 10 on this list is the actual real life passing of a freaking human being who has worked on this show for over 30 years. Number the audacity of this man. Of this, who, who, I don't even want to call him a man. Because he has no balls. To put that Hiromi Sudu legitimately died as a reason as to, as to Dragon Ball Super not being good. And that fans are ignoring it? He, write, he writes here, it's an unforeseen tragedy. Why is this a criticism of Super? Like, like, are you that desperate to make a list and you can't find things to put on your stupid list that you probably got paid 10 cents for? That you have to put the passing of a real-life voice actress there as a criticism of Dragon Ball Super? Like, seriously? I'm not done. The very next one. Frieza's English voice actor wasn't well. Chris Ayers is a real-life friend of mine. Chris Ayers spent three hours talking to me on the phone when I was going through a major, major hardship. I take this personal. I take this personal. I, this is actually personal right here. With Hiromi Sudu, I didn't know her. It was a travesty, and, and it sucks that it happened, and I'm bummed out. I know Chris Ayers, and I worry about Chris Ayers. I think about Chris Ayers. I think about him and his illness. And you're telling me 
you are telling me that things that fans ignore, which they didn't ignore because we raised a lot of money for Chris Ayers last year and we're going to continue to do so, and things that are should be criticized from Dragon Ball Super is that this man has a potential life-threatening illness and you are putting that on your list. I'm stunned. I mean, I... I Screen Rant wouldn't even do this. Screen Rant are fucking angels. Angels. Next to this fucking guy. Jorge Hernandez. And let me tell you something right now. I am not the kind of guy who would ever send, believe it or not, I would never send my subscribers after, you know, an entity, a website, a person. I might do that here. If I can find George Hernandez on the internet, which I doubt I can be. It's a very common name. I want to have a word with him about what it's like to have a little bit of class and dignity as a human being. Instead of exploiting deaths and possible near deaths, Chris Ayers may pass away at some point. I mean, he will. We all, we all die. But he's ill. He's not well. He's recovering little by little, hoping that things get better. And they chose to put this in the article, dude. I just, how can you look, how could somebody at thegamer.com approve this? How? And then things get, and I'm not even done. So then let's finish the list. Cell is ignored. So he wants Cell to come back. Okay, great. The manga, yeah, I've criticized the manga plenty of times. The writing is trash in it. Um, you know, he says that the art is less expressive than Toriyama, which uh, that's obvious. Toyotaro is no Toriyama. There's the, the accusation of Tracy, which he has no idea about. Mai's age, which is funny because he has Mai's age and he has Mai and Trunks' timeline makes no sense. So there's two different articles about Mai. So obviously he came up, or two different options. He came up with these late. Launch remains forgotten. Again, I, maybe this is, might be the only point that he has. Yeah, the fans may have forgotten about launch. Welcome to, you know, 15 years ago. Baby Pan is stronger than GT Pan. Who cares? Who could possibly care? Monaka is just Monaka. So he was upset that Monaka wasn't anybody special. And then here's the kicker. Number one, Dragon Ball Heroes is insane. So this is a list of the things wrong with Dragon Ball Super that fans choose to ignore. And number one on this list is that Dragon Ball Heroes is insane. That's like if I said, that's literally like if I said, 10 things wrong with McDonald's, Wendy's fries suck. I don't understand why number one on this list would be something with a completely unrelated freaking sub-brand of Dragon Ball. Shouldn't that be another article? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand how this made number one. And honestly, I don't care. Because the fact that this guy put the passing of Hiromi Sudu and the illness of Chris Ayers on his list of criticisms of Dragon Ball Super. And if you don't believe me, read the actual article and scroll up to the top. Things that we all choose to ignore. Who ignored the illness and passing of these people? Like, are you serious right now? We're criticizing the production of Super by talking about real people who died. And, and one person who might, who, who's, who's ill. I'm completely disgusted. Thegamer.com is trash, complete, hot garbage for allowing anybody to write whatever the fuck they want on here. Because God knows what other shit they got wrong. And honestly, dude... I, if I were them, I would be ashamed of myself. I would be literally ashamed of myself. Shut the entire website down, bro. Shut the entire website down. Seriously.